What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we will be taking a look at Tower Wars. Take a look at the available gameplay modes, beginning with the classic tower defense. This is where you play against a computer, sends waves of enemies at you, and you have to set up towers to defend your castle. Very basic, basic tower defense stuff. Uh, then there is the Tower Wars gameplay mode, and this is where the game adds those RTS elements. Uh, so basically what's going to happen is you're playing against up to three opponents, and I can show you really quickly here. You can see uh, 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3. You're playing up to against three opponents, and on top of defending against waves of enemies, you are also sending out waves of enemies. At the same time, you have to maintain an economy, you have to train, upgrade, and build your units, and you decide what units go out and when they go out based on how you're maintaining your economy, how you're spending your resources. It's a pretty interesting twist on tower defense gameplay, and it really is a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and set up a match here. I want to do a 1v1. I don't really want to do a 2v2, just because I think 1v1 is a lot more interesting. There are three maps currently available. Uh, hopefully this is something that they add on to in the future. Three is fine for now, but you know more variety is always better in my opinion. Uh, and adding more would be great. 17,000 sold out of the Continental Airlines Arena. Get, get but I'll tell you this. Wow, that's big. A spine luster. We can Wait a minute, look He's at Regent Singh! The Trey tossing a steel chain! Why? Wow, look to this! And the steel chair! Tosses the chair! Maybe he believed he couldn't beat the animal! You see, she's standing his ground, digging in. Braun Strowman knows what a victory will mean for his momentum heading into a Universal Championship match. And Chuck cautiously seen as approaching this. Sid is trying to think his way through this one right here, Corey. And by the way, that was correct on the ring announcer's behalf. 385 pounds. They're going to no give way. up. Looking for the AA. Can't get Strowman off his feet. And then a clubbing blow to the back of the neck. You're right there. That's just all man strength right there because we know how strong is a man. No, no, no. This is a monster. Indeed. The monster among men, as Strowman continues to just physically assault. And right there, that's not on the marquee. The referee should have said something right there that lets me know how intimidated he is as well. Lower back. Potentially, but I mean, it's still scary how agile the big. And there's Strowman, what a fall away slam. Going to take the fight to Strowman and immediately shoved out of the ring. The power. Hey, Corey, I pose this question every week. It seems appropriate to do it again. How do you stop? Don't stop Braun Strowman, and Braun will not stop until he is Universal Champion. The following is a fatal four-way, and it is for the WWE Championship. I am there for over an hour now. Ooh. With an early start time tonight, we found out that the Raw franchise has been sold. We have a new owner. Mr. McMahon has sold Raw. We're going to find out who the new owner is when this match concludes. Oh. This matchup. The back of Orton's head slammed into our announce table. I don't think there's one person who's going to feel sorry for him. And not only a new owner, King, as you mentioned, but at the end of this matchup, we're going to have a new WWE Champion. And that may be coming very soon. 500 pounds, Randy Orton into the cover. Orton does it again. Orton wins the WWE title. Oh, my goodness.